What was the purpose of the handwriting on the wall in Daniel 5? Is there something we can learn from it? Many of you have heard this term, the handwriting is on the wall, and where we get that from is in Daniel 5, where this wicked king, King Belshazzar, sees during a party this little drunken feast that he's having, and he is using these vessels that were stolen, interestingly enough, by his uh, father, not necessarily his father, but someone who he's descended from, which is Nebuchadnezzar. He's using them, and he's doing some, I guess, some inappropriate things, and so he looks up and he sees this handwriting on the wall. The Bible tells us, though, that he is kind of lost his strength, his weak, his knees and hips are weak. And so he's discouraged and wondering. People see this handwriting on the wall. It's this word, this many, many teko ufarsin. We'll cover that in just a second. But he tries to get people to interpret. They can't. And so they say, well, Daniel can. And so Daniel comes to him and tells him that I will give you what this is. Now, one of the things that Daniel tries to get him to understand and to see though it's going to be too late. One of his forefathers, Nebuchadnezzar, had this little arrogance about God and did not recognize that God is sovereign. So what did God do? God gave him the heart of a cattle, made him graze until he understood that God is Lord of all, that God is sovereign. And so the lesson should have been learned. Here he is, a descendant, maybe even an immediate descendant of Nebuchadnezzar. He doesn't get it. And so oftentimes in the position that you're in, you can, can bring about pride and so forth. And so that's what we see here. And so this handwriting is on the wall and he didn't see it. He didn't get it, which is kind of where we get it. I'll tell you why this applies to us in just a little bit. But we want to look at what Daniel is told or what Daniel tells him that the meaning is. In Daniel 5, 25, it says, now this is the inscription that was written out. Mene, mene, tekel, ufarsin. This is the interpretation of the message. Mene, God has numbered you and your kingdom and put an end to it. Tekel, uh, you have been weighed on the scales and been found deficient. Perez, which is kind of an interpretation of Ufarsin, means the same thing, that your kingdom will be divided and given out over the Medes and the Persians. Now, those words would have probably not enough meaning in of themselves, but because Daniel is the one that's given the interpretation and these people who are debauched as they could be, they are not going to understand it anyway, but he says, your kingdom will be given and divided into the Medes and Persians. As a matter of fact, it happened that night to where Balthazar is killed that night. Why is this important? Well, the important that we can learn, the important thing that we can learn from it is this. We've seen these lessons. We've seen many lessons either from other people, uh, either in our lives or specifically in the Bible and the lessons that we can glean from the, from the things that have been taught to us. And we don't get it. Oftentimes, the handwriting is on the wall. It's kind of where this this eating that we where we get it from is from here. He should have known better. He should have known from the lesson that was learned from, or should have been learned from Nebuchadnezzar. He didn't learn it. Well, he actually did. I take it back. He did learn. He just learned the lesson the hard way. We should not be the same way. Oftentimes, the writing is on the wall, and in many cases, people tell us before we have these prior warnings. In prison, there are people who will sit and tell you, man, I saw it coming. I knew it. I should have done this. Same thing with people in the hospital who, who are going through certain health conditions. If they would have just heed certain warning signs, where, as we say, the writing was on the wall. You are now pre-diabetic. You are 40 pounds overweight, 100 pounds overweight, what have you. You are doing things that you should not do, and you know better. The writing has been on the wall. And oftentimes, God gives us a lot longer than he gave someone like Belshazzar. And we still don't get it. And the hard part is when we who profess to be believers have these falls where the writing was on the wall and we could have even just looked at the, the lessons learned from biblical characters and we still don't. Do not let yourself be so exalted where you think that there is no consequences for what you do, be you a Christian or non-Christian. Even Christians suffer consequences for your actions. Don't wait too late to where everyone can see the writing on the wall and you don't. And then God has to deal with you. Amen.